Mm-hmm. All right. All right, well, let's uh, head up the Mount Han and see where we end up here. I think I'm just going to turf those in there. Yeah, and we'll go up into this little crevasse of a valley here and see what happens. <laughs> Some heavy trees. Ugh. That one's kind of pinned up against the... Uh, Thing there. Apologize. Good luck. <laughs> it's alright. Processor can whip that down. I can't whip that down very good, but run it in the head for a few minutes should be all good. I'm trying to clean up my yeah, stumps okay. as I go here too, so that we don't have to do that later. Trying. It is what it is. It's a good way to slow down the buncher operator. Make him clean up all the stumps behind him. So you got a new bunch of head I'm gonna be working on here soon. I'm pretty excited for. Finally, finally a new bunch of head. It's been like ages. Feels like ages since these came out. But the new one looks pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. It's one of Pro Which Packs. Which one's that one? It's uh, one that Pro Pack makes. I think it's their 24R or 24X or something. But the color scheme on it is just crazy. It's like a black and kind of like yellow. Highlighted one. Oh, it looks, it looks cool. Sounds <laughs> dope. Yeah, it's really sweet. I should be getting the model stuff probably sometime this week. I think. Do they do they make the models for you? Yeah, they they actually give me their um, like their design model files for the actual machine. Mm -hmm. I have to really dumb them down a bit because the files they give me are like millions and millions of polys. Like they're crazy big files, right. so I have to kind of like really grind them down to make them work in this game, but they still look pretty good. But the D-Limmer was like, oh man, when they gave me that, there were so many parts and pieces on it, and I was like, holy lord, this is going to kill the game if I put it in like this. So I had to kind of take some of the little nuts and bolts and chains and stuff, like high poly stuff up. But it worked out pretty good, because that one actually looks pretty decent. And then I got another version of that d coming out in a John Deere format. That'll come out probably at the same time as the uh, Feller Buncher head. I think I'll just do a dual pack with the Pro Pack stuff. Because they really wanted a John Deere version as well as the Cat. So I'm like, all right, I'll make one. And I'll be best based off of the 2154, I think. That's what I used, the low cab one. But oh, like the uh, like the old one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but with the d yep. head. Yeah. Yeah, exactly yeah. the one. But okay. I just have well, to... Uh, I like that machine. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I just have to make it so that the... Um, so that the body fits with that delimmer thing. That's always kind of a pain in the butt, is trying to reshape the body, because it's not... It's not built out of the box perfectly to fit that delimmer sliding shield and stuff on the back. But I'll make it work. I just gotta bend enough bend enough pieces and she'll fit. <laughs> bend it till it breaks, right? That's how she goes. So I'm just going to kind of chop up this valley here. Should I cut it into the gap? Yeah, I'm trying to kind of lay them so that you can get to them, but man, this one little valley here is going to be a bit of a nut show. You probably have to process in reverse here. Oops. Jeez. Are the bunch just still free? Oh yeah, do you want this one? Here, I'm just in it right now. You take it, go ahead. Oh yeah. I bunch 24 hours a day doing this stuff on my other one, so don't worry about it. You just go right ahead. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, you can take my forward. Yeah, I'm gonna grab this other forwarder and get back to it. Matt's just having a time there loading, so that's good. Loving life.
Oh, nice. You got this pile. Good man. Yes. Is that what's the pile you were talking about? Yeah, yeah. That's the one, up, the one up front there. Yeah, you got her. Oh, cool. Oops, I can't grab that one. In a bad spot. Oopsies. One thing I don't like about the the uh, dangle heads, at least the new ones, is that they kind of sway side to side, and I don't really like that, but I don't really have a choice. It's just the way the physics work. Uh, which ones? Uh, like the calf order. Like, they kind of, like, when I'm holding it, they kind of swing side to side a little bit. Like, uh, yeah. like not swing, like, like this way, but they, like, rotate, I guess you'd say. Like, they kind of have, like, a rotate spin. Um, yep. But that's just, the, it has to have that amount of give because if I make it solid, oh man, it really freaks the logs out. I tried making it completely solid and then, yeah, when you go to grab them, if it doesn't have a little bit of spin from the weight of the log, it just like, yeah, it glitches out hard. And then the, <laughs> the the whole grapple like floats up to the right side and just stays there solid. And I'm like, uh, ah, that's not good. Let's not do that. <laughs> that doesn't look natural. It looks like it's possessed by something. The exorcism of the dangle grapple. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh, I forgot how low this cap was. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Big change. Big change that one, yeah. Yeah, but it's great. It's uh it's nice because you can actually uh, see really well what you're cutting, but Yeah. I actually really like that cab for uh, processing as well. It's a little short, like the arm's a little short, but um, it's nice for visibility. You know what I started doing in our other one, uh, in the time-lapse one? Um, I started doing, uh, that Volvo, that, that, uh, I think it's the 355, the bigger kind of Volvo, with a processor yeah. on it. It's actually, that cab is so nice for processing. Again, the arm is a little short for doing, like, close reaches, but, man, the visibility is just incredible. Yeah. Is that the one with the blade? Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. Not the not the baby mini one, but the the one up from it. Yeah, I'm I'm yeah. from Europe. Yeah, when I started on the discovering the machines, stuff, I only used the old ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those yeah, are actually really popular there. Hey, the the, the ones. And then they put like a little cage on the top and call them forestry. Forestry <laughs> yeah. done. Forestry dish. Branding works. Yeah. Oh. Get stuck here in this hole that never ends. There we go. Whoa. Do some fishing. My favorite machine on here at the moment is the John Deere. The little baby looking thing. Oh, the. Oh, um, yeah, 753J. Yeah, yeah when I first saw that thing, I don't know why. I just, like, I was like, I've never seen it before in real life or anywhere. And I was just like, oh man, that thing looks so whack. Like, I gotta have that. <laughs> that's but, good. It's got good visibility in it. Yeah, that's that's kind of one of the things that most people love about that. Just being able to see everything. There's that for as well. That's great. There's not a lot of machines left though. Like I don't know what else. Uh, like everything's kind of a clone of a clone, you know. Um, I would like to make a link belt low cab. That would be one thing I would like to have. Oh yeah, most definitely. Because that so one's like I'm. Um, that's their idea. yeah. They're super popular up here where I live too. Like they use them for processing here, and uh, I think that would probably be a good call. I just gotta snipe the cab off of something and put it on there, but I should talk to it the guy like who built little, the original one. It looks like a again. little monster. What's that? It looks like a little monster with yeah. a low cab. Oh yeah, yeah, it's cool. I love like that kind of like tilted vertical cab that it has on there. I know, I think that's yeah. pretty sweet. Just to be different. Okay. I forgot to reset my timer, so I gotta remember I'm seven minutes towards the end of my next one. <laughs> it's a classic me move not to do that. Boop. Wish you could just set it to record for 30 minutes and stop or something. That'd be sweet. That would save me messing around. Uh, I just use shadow play. 
I used to use OBS, but man, it just murders my games. My FPS just goes to the ground, especially when I'm trying to like play this. Since I've switched, this is the best multiplayer we've ever had, uh, hosting and playing because of just because of that. <laughs> I couldn't believe the difference, and the quality is really similar, if not exactly the same. So, screw it. What's that? Yeah, oh yeah, for sure, hey? Yeah, Shadowplay, I, I used to use it a long time ago for like other games when I used to do other things with my YouTube channel, um, and then I hated it. Because it, well, back then it was actually really bad, they didn't have a lot of features and things didn't work well. But they've since severely upgraded it since then, so... I was glad I gave it a shot, because I wasn't gonna... And then I'm like, oh, well, maybe I'll try it out just to see. And sure enough, it was uh, not so bad at all. Well, I have only used it for uh, highlighting uh, game clips with the friends, you know. Yeah, yeah, doing like reels yeah. and stuff, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you do it on here, but do you um, cut the defected areas on the um, buttons of these trees? Uh, I do, like just for fun, but you don't have to. No, yeah, no, that's what I do. It just leaves a lot more slit. Um, I just like it because it looks nice when you load it. <laughs> Makes it so it looks pretty. Yeah, most definitely. It's got to have a pretty load. Yeah, and uh, also as a processor, like when you're processor operating, it's so nice to have uh, something to do other than just cutting rounds all day. Like, oh, I can cut out this defect, run it ahead, chop this piece out. It yeah. makes it feel slightly more real. But something you'll do in real life. Yeah, it was never the intention to have them the logs be defected at all like that. That was just a side effect of using that uh, crusher node for the buncher head instead of the cut node. So yep. it just causes it to warp, and I'm like, ah, I actually like that because I can like run it ahead and find the good spot. And if it looks wrinkly, I can just keep cutting ahead. And it just I don't yeah. know, gives you that realistic feeling like you're actually doing quality on your wood. <laughs> Yeah, I quite like it, but most people just tell me, like, why do you leave all those big chunks of wood around? And yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, quality. <laughs> Have you like, seen oh, it's such a waste, it's such a waste, yeah. <laughs> yeah so it's a, you don't get much money for it. If you cut those off, you should get a bit more money for it. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Matt, I'm going to build a new pile back here so we're not chasing it back to the road too far. Give yeah. me some room to turn around. Back up here, so get me all this so Oh, okay, yeah. Long. Give her start a pile right here. I shall start it up here. Quite smarter. Eight miles an hour hauling wood. Come <laughs> without the wood, without the wood, it goes. Yes, that's uh, that's the next thing I gotta fix. Uh, is the the torque on the trucks? That'll be in the next update. The torque on the trucks is kind of garbage when you're. I uh, think it's lag. That's that's what it is. No, it it's literally the trucks because we were doing oh, it really? in uh, single player and found that too. They're just the weight of the logs are too heavy now for the trucks. So it's, uh, it bogs them down really bad. And the trailers, too. I need to upgrade the trailers because the weight of the trailers is too low now. So sometimes the trailers slide around while you're loading them, which they're not supposed to do. But that's just the way she goes. But we noticed that last time we were playing on Monday. We were doing I, a I, it, run. Well, personally, well, I kind of like my, my log trucks to have a little bit of power, but to go slower. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Like and 30, that, 35, 36. I mean... It's awesome because you're, you're, you you look at in the real world, you don't see the log trucks going 65 down the log. Really. Yeah, no, not generally, unless they're really crazy people. But um, <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. And I I'm trying to find kind of that medium ground where if you put a load on it, you can still feel it bog down a bit. But at the same time, I don't want it to be completely like a powerless piece of crap. Like if you take right. that thing up that mountain over there, I bet it would bog down to like 10, probably going up that hill with a full load. But this trailer is not so bad, the one you have right now, because there's only two bunks. 
with that new trailer, like the Gen 2 with the with the three bunks. Oh man, when you get that sucker fully loaded with longs or shorts, because it's so wide, like the bunks are so wide on it, it holds so much wood. Um, that thing gets down to like 20, 15 when you're on a straight stretch. So wow. that's why I haven't released that yet because I'm still kind of balancing out the uh, the log trailers. But that'll be coming here in August with the other two trailers. I think I'm going to do a three trailer kind of update in August. And possibly pro pack. I don't know what the hell. I, it's so hard to balance out my uh, releases because there's so many different things going on right now. So many different projects. But we'll see. Definitely want to get those trailers out. And then I got that Hitachi low loader I got to get out to. That one's been sitting there for like walk. all eternity. Uh, just like a, a low version of that uh, high cap Hitachi that we have in the game. I did like yeah, a low cap version. Oh. But I just, I don't know how that one got backburnered for so long because it was ready like months and months and months ago. I just kept having things come up and new project and oh, this is ready. I gotta get this out. And it just keeps getting pushed back and I'm like, ah, whatever. I should probably throw that out there sometime. So I gotta get that out there too. But all in good time. Eventually. Welcome back. Oh, uh, hello. Yeah, so my computer had an update, which took even longer than I thought it would. So, <laughs> my controls work this time. I'm having any issues. Yeah. Me. Yeah, that's the, that's the hope anyway, right? Wood. That's all we You gotta hit my hope. Right. Yeah. Got it. Got him, man. Normally, that hope just fades away very quickly. <laughs> yeah. Is in in uh, in your way? Are they Berg or Berg? What do you call yourself? I call him Berg, like iceberg. Berg, Berg? yeah, that was right. Uh huh. Uh huh. That was actually in my uh, my Steam tag at one point. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yeah. I was always weirded out by calling people by the names of their Steam names when I was playing. I don't know why, I'd always, I was always just like... Well, some people would have some pretty bizarre names. And you're like, hey, Nintendo Player 37. And you're like, god, this is weird. Yeah, it's like, no, 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 no. Yeah. You should just number everybody. Number one? Yeah. Hey, number one. Take machine number one. <laughs> Back to the bush. Back to the bush. To the bush. Oh, hi, Matt. Hey. Good to meet you here. Right? <laughs> yeah. We don't take kindly. People don't take kindly around these pops. Incoming. We got some people. Oh, yeah. Prepare. Prepare yourself. It's probably me. <laughs> Officer Lincoln. That's Incoming. Lincoln oh, good lord. <sighs> Another beautiful day, hey? What, what is the time in everyone's destinations? No. It is 20 after 2 right now. Oh, wow. Here on East Coast. It's 11.20 in the morning in Canada, BC, Canada. 1.20 for me. Central oh, part wow. of the United States. You know, central part of the United States. 8.20 p.m. for me. <laughs> Isn't that the funniest thing, hey? I don't know, I always found time time zones and stuff to be the most just craziest. Yeah, that, that's why I pinged you, because... Um, you know, you got P... ST and PDT or something like that, and that's all oh, Pacific Standard. Of, or, yeah, for some absurd reason, uh, we have summer and winter time too, but the time zone is uh, is different from my time time zone. Oh, depending really? if it's summer or winter. Yeah, it's oh. it's uh, swings by an hour. I don't Crazy. know why. 
Yeah, that really? That makes no that. sense at all. That's wild. No, no, no. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Strange. So, yeah. I'm gonna pick up. I think I'm on the early, early boot here. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. So I'm gonna pick the, the here. shorter ones here. Uh, just do kind of the big guys, and I'll come back for the, the little tapered guys. Make a nicer load. Category of good stuff. Sure, why not? Whoops. Slippery. Ah. Uh, Colin. Hello. Do you want the stacks uh, smaller? Is that easier for you? No, that's fine, man. Just stack them however you like. I'll, I'll deal with oh. it. Yeah. It's the joy of the processors. The thing's a tank. You can just do whatever. Probably my pile. Oh. <laughs> I left one really oh, no, nasty I, I one. Mean, for no. sure. oh, um, I mean, the one I've just processed. Oh, I oh. see, gotcha. <laughs> I was like, that would make sense because I made a really crappy one right against the mountain there. Oh, yeah, I'm coming up to this one right now. <laughs> I apologize in advance for that. No worries. Oh, I, I continued on that. Yeah. You can blame us both. <laughs> <laughs> Fair trade. Yeah. <laughs> Char operators. Should just have uh, have left it. It's his fault. <laughs> hey, corn on those piles up there. If you can, um, can you try to split your bigger ones from your smaller ones? Uh, like like okay. your kind of toppy ones. Just throw them off to the side, like in a different pile. Yeah, I'm sweet. Just, so I wasn't I wasn't doing that ones. before, but I'm finding it's way easier to load the. Uh, the ones that are kind of the same size. The little ones I yep. can just do in one grab, but when they get mixed in with the big ones, it makes the grapple kind of flip out here. Yeah, no worries. Sweet. Thanks, man. It's not the end of the world. I mean, if they get mixed in, that's fine, but I'm just trying to be... Makes it easier for Matt when he's loading on his end, too, because then I'm not dropping off a big mixed bag of crap. Enjoy, yeah, no man. Worries. It keeps me... <laughs> keeps me concentrated. Yeah. <laughs> I'll leave their bunch of deer for now. We'll just do this one. <laughs> Heck yeah. yeah. That one actually kind of qualifies, I think, as a decent sized piece. going on? The truck is starting! That's fine. I'm sorry, Matt. Didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Freaking out poor Matt, hey? Just loading in peace I've... and then just break his concentration. <laughs> That's great. I'm sure people in the in the actual bush has done worse. Oh, way worse, yeah. I've seen the yeah. videos. <laughs> <laughs> Heard the stories, seen the videos. I don't work in the, in the woods, but I've heard that uh, what stays in the woods. Oh, what happens, yes, happens stays in the woods? <laughs> stays in the wood, yeah. Absolutely. Like the woods are some kind of uh, tree version of Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Tree Vegas. It's wild in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tree Vegas. <laughs> yeah. Tree Vegas.
Oh, shift A. Oh, whatever, that's just the way that's gonna go. Yeah. Now, I definitely feel like a real process of cutting two different parts of the Yeah, you can, right? Yeah, it makes it nicer anyway. Makes yeah, that's easier. cool. I like it. Makes it more fun for you, too. So you actually have yeah, a, most you're not just You're not just literally doing like boring one pile crap. Yeah. <laughs> Now that we have a little more space here from the processing range, we should be able to do it too, so. When you're doing like road cutting, it's not quite as, well even then I kind of separate them a bit. I'll just put it ahead of the big ones, but um, when you got like a big landing, you kind of got a little more room to play with. Oops, was not meant to throw that one in there. One mistake. I'm sorry, right. Zal's not joining us today. Yeah, I don't know where he is. He was on last night, I think, but, um, yeah, I don't know, disappeared. Joined the it's army. Up. How dare he have a life outside of the logging crew. Right. He shall be punished. He shall be punished for his actions. That wasn't part of the contract. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Pretty much. You're using the dangle head on there, aren't you, Matt? Yes. He's, he's, doing, he's doing good. Loads look good, anyway. Yeah, he is. Nobody likes the dangle head. Actually, I like the dangle head now, uh, since the last update. Now it's actually a lot better. It's easier to load with. It used to be such a pain in the butt. I used to hate it, but now I love it. My new drug is the dangle head. Are those still on? Yeah, they are. <laughs> I'm just... I make lopsided box, too. So yeah. More warm this one's I, definitely I get a, lopsided. I get a little heavy on the near side. Yeah, you gotta... Whenever you... Th that, that's kind of why I wanted to do the bigger, like, more even piles to bring you now. And then put a separate, smaller pile so that you're not getting as much taper in your uh, your load. That way you can flip I, them would help if I... Flipped them, yeah. Yeah, that's one thing when you're loading is you got to kind of judge your judge your sides a little there to see how it's building up. So longs are actually the most uh, tricky ones, but lots in the bush. Lots of guys load the longs uh, really heavy to the front so that there's a huge taper going to the back because they want to load the tractor up, right? But every group is different. I just want that one tree. Is that too much to ask? Probably. There you go. Actually, I could probably take that whole group. Down, Matt. All right, buddy. While we wait for another load to come in. Did you take the? I think there's a second uh, <clears throat> lock truck. Yeah. At the end of the road. There's also another forwarder too. Everybody wants to be a forwarder person. With a lot of wood to bring back. I could try forwardering. Do it. Be my forwarder companion, Matt. You're gonna love it. The pay's not great, but you know what? It's fun. Whoops. Let's so pretend that never right. happened. So yeah, Matt, what I'm doing is I'm 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 picking up the big ones uh, on my first load, and then usually second load I'll go back to get the little ones, like oh, the kind of okay. thinner pieces. Okay. It'll it's it's way easier to load when you pick the big ones out, and now. Uh, Corn separating them there, so. I'll do kind of big and mid length, but anything with like a really sharp kind of pool cube end on it, I just leave it there.
What's wrong with that poor grapple? It's just it's having a time up there. Shadow is tripping you. Wee wee. Yeah, the time, say. <laughs> Alright, not bigger than the other puddle. I think by the time I unload this trailer, we'll be down another one here. Nice! Wow. How many uh, balloons are there? Like a hundred. Uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. As many as we can get till one o'clock. So probably like three more, I think. I mean, as long as people last long enough and want to do it. If people want to bail, that's totally cool too. I don't really care. We play till we play. That's how I roll. I can do this forever. I know, oh. right? That's yeah. how it feels. <laughs> oh, the pile stacks so much nicer when you grab the all the same size too. I mean, I guess in real life when you're forwarding, you probably wouldn't pick up all multiple sizes. Hey, you'd grab all mediums and then shorts and kind of mix your, mix your bunks yeah, so they, that you have it all one size. They usually, um, they're not cut in one heap. There's oh, I see. Big wood is separate. Gotcha. Um, yeah, medium size wood is separate. Uh, and the pulp. And then the pulp's like what, the kind of like the little tippy toppy stuff? Yeah, right yeah. at the top of the head, pretty much. Huh, that's cool. What do you pick up first when you go through the top? Nah, it's usually depending on what loads we need to get the truck or the trucks loaded. It depends oh, okay. on what the trucks want. So if they want a certain load, then I'll go down and pull that sort of wood out for load. Ah, then, I see. Yeah. If there's no certain sort of wood they want, then I'll just grab all of it. Yeah, yeah. Put it in separate bunches, yeah. That's cool. This is good. Not getting all my forward advice. This is good. Everything I need to know. Actually, I have a question for the uh, homeowner people. Let's do it. Was. Ask him. Um, I've seen a new mod where you can calculate the wood, uh, and it has a lock mode and a pulp wood mode, and I don't know what the difference is between them. English is not my first language. So what does it do, sorry? It calculates uh, the wood that you uh, process. It's for the, uh, How does process. it, like what it is? Like what kind of wood it is or what? Yeah, you can set it to spruce or pine, and then it has two measure modes, like logs and pulp wood you can switch between, and I don't know what the difference is between them. Uh oh. Okay, yeah, I've seen that too. I was, I was a bit of a thing doing that too. I've never seen that. That's what about. Is that a okay. Kenny, it's another a Kenny adventure? Actually, it's I haven't used it. That sounds like something Kenny built or would build. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's making all kinds of wacky stuff. I love it. Yeah, I just want to know the difference between pulp wood and logs. Oh, yeah. Well, pulp pulp is generally just kind of the crap wood that they use to uh, use for regen. They either burn it up or turn it into paper here. Um, um, or, or make wood chips. Yeah, or wood chips or whatever they do. Uh, we bring it to a pellet yeah. plant here and they reburn it and make pellets in it and turn it into stuff that they sell for wood stoves to burn. It's basically oh, just kind of okay. crap crap lumber that isn't good enough grade to turn into 2x4s. Yeah. I'll um, take to the mill. Yeah, totally. So yeah. saw logs are high quality good stuff. And uh, yeah, pulp is the garbage. Okay. Yeah, saw logs, saw logs are real good, nice, nice yep. straight thin looking. Great, yeah. The delicious okay. stuff. Yep. It's like if you're the a steak, leader, then, uh, and then pulp is the salad. <laughs> 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 that nobody wants, but it's just there, yeah. Yeah, have you ever gotten that question, do you want pulp with that? No, no. Yeah, no, no. no, 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 no,